Hi everybody, so I've got my Lego Grand Emporium here. This is the set that started it all for me. So um, it might be a little dusty because I built it a couple years ago. But this is the first one that I did a custom interior on because it didn't have very much. It had a little bit, but I added a lot to it. So, got some stuff going on down here on the street. Added some extra figures to it. Um, and then up on the roof, I've got some stuff going on up there. And uh, a little meeting back here. So let's uh, open it up and see what we've got going on. So on the first floor, I just added a bit to the interior. I added some more clothing and some more things for sale. I added some more figures and a plant. I've got some more um, things over here for sale. Some more clothing choices for sale. So I only, I just added a little bit to this floor just to give it a little bit of extra stuff. Look at the second floor. So this one is like the houseware section, dishes and knives and cups and things. So I just added a little more to it. More cups, more dishes, more knives. So that the minifigs can have some more choices. Prying pans, different kind of mugs. I add some plants too because I, I like the greenery. And I added some figures that are shopping. So there's the second floor. Okay. There's the third. I'll take the roof off. So the third floor is my favorite. The toy shop. So I added in some shoppers and a bunch of toys. You can get some figurines back here, an airplane, a uh, toy helmet, some toy swords and things, some different hats and bows. Got a whole flag and banner section. We've got some teddy bears. Some wands and different things, a little radio. And I added the plant in the corner too. So this is the little toy shop on the top floor. The Grand Emporium. So that's that's that. Put it back together here. Everybody's falling over. That's what happens when you move sets around. So that is what I did with my Lego Grand Emporium. Thanks for watching.